So I know we've only got a couple minutes here, so I want to get to this quickly. Uh, Former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider is now suing the producers of the documentary Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV for defamation. Now, this comes after he made a public apology for his behavior after the documentary first aired. And now he is suing them for defamation. Uh, They say that it was a hit job, which insinuated that Schneider sexually abused the children who worked on his television shows and that, you know, he had no knowledge of the abuse that happened. It wasn't him that did it. And he was not complicit in the abuse. He condemned the abuse once it was discovered and was not a child sexual abuser himself. I mean, look, at uh, everything will come out in the wash, won't it? If this is true. I don't mean, you think that his I mean, it, it, wouldn't his lawyers be like, why did you make an apology if you were going to sue for defamation? Because that makes it really hard for us. Well, well, the problem being is. There's a, an immediate knee re, knee-jerk reaction for them to apologize. You see it all over, like, that. you know, you have to bend the knee to the mob. Yeah. Whatever it is, mm-hmm. like, if you come out and apologize, then everything will be okay. And it's clearly not. And by the way, I mean, I don't think that Hollywood is going to necessarily ostracize him because of it, because of any allegations, because they don't ostracize anybody. They've got to fight. They're like goldfish memories. They don't care. Well, I, mean, I understand his point, though. I mean, I haven't seen the documentary, but if unless he was... Unless you speak out on masks and then they care. Oh, and the, or the jab. And the then jab. They, and then, and then, and then you care. never work in Hollywood again. <laughs> Not that you... Not that I know anything about that. It's an old experience. Yeah, I have no experience in that. I mean, they're they're the most tolerant people ever. We're just speculating. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I I understand it if he didn't have anything to do with it. I I understand that he would be soon. But it's, like you said, it's very odd. Now, I I agree. And I agree with your point that, like, it's going to, like, they rehire these people all the time. To your point, I believe that the, um, the guy, one of the guys that was found guilty of that, Brian Peck, I believe he was the one who went on after he served time, went on to work for Disney. So Disney was like, we'll take your trash. That's fine. Um, But the thing is, is there were a lot of scenes that we showed. You were here that day, right? There were a lot of scenes that we showed that he ultimately was responsible for that were very, very creepy. And you cannot convince me otherwise. And the fact that he was responsible for them and he gave the okay and sometimes came up with them, to me, is a problem in and of itself. That's not the producers doing a hit job on you. That was you. Yeah, no, I mean, if he came up with them, that's very, very disturbing, right? I mean, there's no getting away with it. All I'm saying is, is that in the hierarchical system that there is, I can't comment on it because I don't know where he is in the pecking order. So a lot of the time you'll have like, what you have a showrunner who who literally runs the show, who writes writes all the stuff. And the producers are doing multiple different things. Like one producer might do three shows and all he's doing is checking the numbers, right? He's saying, okay, it's, it's running on time. I'm on budget. He's the so, so I don't know where he is, right? right within within that framework, he was so, a showrunner, I believe. Well, then there's an issue. That's what I mean. That's what I yeah. think. If if he's a showrunner, there's an and issue. again and again and and I get it because you could say like, well, he was too bogged down with these other things, and he had to trust that the producers would do it. But to my knowledge, and for those of you who have not watched it yet, go watch it. It is actually like. Very, very interesting documentary. Very well done. But to my knowledge, he was the one that was sometimes coming up with these skits. Like he's in a skit with Amanda Bynes as a teenager in a hot tub while she's in a sweat. Like it just was we. It's just weird as an adult man. Yeah. It's just a weird position to put yourself in. Yeah, and so, but, but word, he's, he's not the only one though. I mean, no. like we keep saying this. We said about cuties. It goes all the way up to the top. They have to. Um, they have to green light it. Yeah. So if anything, he should be looking at other people as well and go, hang on a second, why am I the only guy that's being called out here? Right, right, and maybe he will. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here. <laughs>